Hello Crusade friends, it's me, Jonah, and we have some packages to open today from very special people, and let's begin with this one right here. Okay, so this one is from Suzanne in, in New York. Let's see what she sent me. Okay, but I gotta tell you guys, mom already, mom insisted that she would open these packages already because you, can, I, I know you guys don't like it when I'm using the scissors because I could hurt my hands and then I can't crochet. So, mom insisted she open them. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, bold knitting crochet scarves. Okay, actually, before I show it to you, I'm actually going to be attending the Bog Knitting event in January in New York, and I cannot wait for that. But here is the book, Crocheted Scarves, and wow, let's find a pattern and show you guys. Here's the first one. This is the scallop edge scarf and raspberry swirl but I think actually there might be, there might be a card in here because more people send it. let's see here oh I guess there was a card well there it is and let's see hi just thought you would like this I found it somewhere I love following you on Instagram good luck to you and I am so proud of you love Sue from New York. Well, thank you. I love that letter. And here is the book, and now let's find a cool pattern inside of it. And yeah, and also, this is a really nice small size, so it's great for on the go. And I think I might be bringing it when I travel to the Bogan Knitting event. But let's see here. Let's find a really cool pattern to show you guys. Ooh, wow! Look at this one, it's called the Neck Warmer and they're Petite Popcorns, which is like, it's a full scarf with little tiny bobbles. And I just love that. How they're slanted sideways is amazing. And that's a great color. It's like that light olive. Wow, let's find another one to show you guys. Ooh, this one's really cool. Look at this one, it's called the Modern Heirloom Cabled Scarf. And I love how... The cable, there's not too many cables, but there's just a couple running through it, and then there's one tassel on both sides, and it tapers down, which makes for a great scarf. Then there's many others. Wow. Here's the scalloped edge one again in raspberry swirl. This is more of like a shawl one to me, but wow. Oh, here's another one that you guys would like. Look at this one. This one is the Jagged Stripes Heart to Heart Scarf. Wow. You know, I just love this book, and I'm going to definitely do, be doing some crocheting on the go when I go to New York to attend the Vogue Knitting event. And I just, after after done with this, I'm just going to dive right into this book. And, Mom, I'm sorry, but I'm going to be up late tonight. Okay, I wanted to thank... Sue from New York again for sending me this beautiful book knitting crochet scarves book and now she's keeping me really busy so thank you Sue and now let's move on to our next package okay guys I'm back and our second package is from Boltech in the UK and this is a hook company and they just put up a new website boltech.com and you guys really have to check it out but let's see what Boltech sent me and once again mom pre-opened this but i have no idea what's inside oh looks like we have a note first oh just Boltech and then i'm hooked which is what i like to think of how i'm crocheted and also there is their instagram and then over there is their facebook so you guys should really check them out but let's see what else is inside. Oh, wow. Things just kept coming out. But let's see here. What do we have? Well, first here, it appears that we have some business cards. Like, here is, here's the Boltec business card, and there's some information on there. And I really like this card. It's, it's so, like, vintage-y, and the wood 
And I love vintage. And then there's the email on there too, if you guys can read that. And then, yeah, Instagram again, Facebook. Wow. And then here's the care instructions. Your Bowtech crochet hook has been made to the highest standards and should give you a lifetime of service. Your hook needs little to no maintenance. When you feel necessary, the only thing you need to do is clean your hook with a nice, soft, dry cloth. Handmade bow tech. Wow, let's see here. Ready? I'm ready. A moment. Oh my gosh. Look at this hook. This is the cool, okay, this might now be my favorite hook. Look at it. It's so beautiful. It's like an orange it's like an orange sunset swirl. Look at that wood and the beautiful hook head shape. I love it how it's an inline and not an outline. But then look, this is the perfect orange and how it swirls out. Oh my gosh. I love this. I I wonder what size it is. Did I, did I drop what size it was? Hmm. Well, I'll have to figure out what size it is in a little bit, but... Look at this crochet hook. Bowtech, thank you. I love this hook. This is how, and you, you guys are right when you said this is made to the high, highest of standards. I just wanted to tell you I agree 100% and wow, this is just so beautiful. And look at how it transfers from wood to the orange swirl. Wow. I love that hook so much, and that is why you guys need to check out Botex Botex website. Oh wait, I think I feel a couple more guys. Here we go. What is this one gonna look like? <gasps> oh, this one's blue. Look at that. I love that blue. This is my this is my mom's favorite kind of blue, and it has that same transition. And oh, it's so adorable. I love these. Whoa. And they're in different sizes, and these hooks are so polished, and they feel perfect in my hand. And wow, this blue is the best blue you can ever have, and this is going to be like my best crochet hook set. Wow. Okay, wow, if you just hold it up to the light, it looks amazing. How the light just shines through it. There's another one, guys. Okay, what color do you think this is going to be? I'm thinking maybe yellow or red. Oh, I was way off. Oh, okay, this isn't yellow or red. It's this beautiful wood encasing. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. This is the kind of hook that you would use for doilies. And normally it's just like the handles just as thin as this, but they decided to be very smart and add this beautiful ergonomic handle. And the size is engraved right on the side, and it appears to be a 1.15. Oh, my. These are so beautiful. Boltech, you guys are an amazing company. I love all of these hooks and you guys gotta check them out this is amazing wow you guys write write in the comments which one is your favorite i just can't decide but if i had to choose i would say the whole set because you need three to make a set and they're so beautiful they're lightweight you can feel them they're smooth with a little bit of grip and the colors are gorgeous you guys are staying right here. Okay, let me check again to see if there was, and see if they did say what size they were. Let's check on here again. Hmm. Well, we, we, we'll, just, we'll just find out later, but I just, bold tech, thank you so much. You just gave me one of my favorite sets of hooks. Ever, and I am overjoyed to be using this and I think right after this video I know what I'm going to be using as my next crochet hook and I am so excited guys please go check out Boltex company and get yourself some amazing 
hooks. Now let's move on to our next package. I'm back with my three Boltec hooks and I just went and grabbed my sunset hook also sent to me from the UK from the company Henrietta. So now I have more, now I have shown you guys even more of my beautiful hooks and orange here and then another beautiful orange, a blue and then this wonderful doily hook. I don't know which one's stone is going to steal the show but they're all so beautiful and Boltec all I can say is thank you and I'm going to set these hooks aside right up high. Okay guys, by the way, I just want to tell you, you can see I'm sweating and wiping my forehead. But that's because in lacrosse, it feels like 112 degrees outside. So that's why. And our air is not working at the moment. The fans are blowing, but still, it's not enough when it feels like 112. Okay, well, let's move on to our next package. Here we go, I'll pop this one down here because it's so big. This one is from Sharon, Sharon. Yep, this one is from Sharon. And now let's open it up. There we go. And Okay, so it just has my dress on there. And oh, there's so much yarn to look through. I don't know, which we go first. Let's go with what's in here first. Okay. Empty out our mates. Let's look what we have here. This is U, 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 U. I don't know how to pronounce that. Yeah, U, U. Woolly worsted washable, 100% merino super wash. And you need three balls for a scarf. And what size hook would this recommend? Oh, five. Okay, well, look at these. These are beautiful Valentine's colors. All the woolly, woolly worsted. And let's see how many yards are in one ball. 95 yards or 86 meters. That's a pretty good amount. Wow, the colors are... The color? Oh, I didn't say that. Oh, well, well, I really love these colors. You have like this cherry color when they come into a fuchsia. And then you have like the good old vintage cream that you always can use. Mm, I love those. And they have a beautiful texture. Oh, here's just another woolly worsted in the fuchsia color. Ooh, look at this yarn. I think I have to take it out of the package. Okay, let's see here. Does it want to come out? Okay, I don't think it wants to come out. Oh, well, it doesn't want to come out. But let's see here. Yeah, oh, yeah. Thank you, Mom. I guess we will get it out after all. Okay. See, didn't break my hands. We're all good. Let's look at this yarn, guys. So it's called Cotton Kisses Ply Mouth Yarn. It is, whoa. Look at this, there's 300 yards in here. And let's pull out a little strand right here. Look at that texture, it goes from thick and thin, and it's soft, and, and it's cotton, which is great. But the texture is lovely, and one skein, one ball like this, makes a baby sweater. But I love the softness from the cotton, and then the texture really gives it that look, so you can do a basic stitch and get texture through it with this beautiful, like, silvery pink color and there's two inside wow oh 51 cotton 42 acrylic and seven nylon let's see what's this yarn Ooh, this looks like a beautiful colorway wow let's open this one up okay so here we go These feel amazing to my hands. There's three of them. Let's see here. This is called Aero Flax Bulky Chunky Weight 100% Linen. You know, I've only seen mixes of like 10 or 20% linen, but 100%? 
This is like great for summer apparel for mom. And look at this colorway. This is like mixing summer and then spring with that beautiful green mixed through there. Wow. Now we gotta pull out the blue. The same yarn and this color is called cornflower, but look at this. Mom, I think is gonna mom's gonna get something really beautiful because she loves blue. And wow, this this blue is like so close to the blue on the shorts I'm wearing. It's this is like the kind of blue I like with a tin with a tinge of silver running through it. And what size hook? Oh, it's from Belgium too. Well, the seven six around there for a size five bulky weight, and I just love these. Wow, there's so much yarn in here, and I'm so happy to be opening it all. Ooh, look at that! It's a pattern on how to make those little hedgehog mittens. A more house original. Oh, and I get to make those little hedgehog mittens. And look here. I'm actually just going to open this up so I can come out and show you guys. We have a little felt and then some buttons to make the eyes. We have this beautiful wool yarn in this, in this hedgehog-like color. And I can tell that this is a wool and it's just lovely. You know, Mom, I think Mercy, Mercy would like some hedgehog mittens. I'll make them for Mercy. Man, it is hot here. see here what let's what's this kind of here oh wow classic elite this looks pretty elite okay I just got to take it all out I can't hold it oh, this, is the softest thing I've ever felt. this is like the softest thing I've ever felt I can it just is classic elite yarns them premium but it doesn't say anywhere what like type of yarn oh here it is it's hidden on this one on the end 50% Pima cotton and 50% tensile. Whoa. This is deliciously soft hand. Great stitch definition. Wow, this would make, oh, and it's eco-friendly too. Environment friendly and Pima Pima is the world's finest cotton. And oh, this is so soft. I've never felt a yarn so soft and I'm not joking. Wow. And there's three of them. How, how much yardage is in this thing? 108 yards? That's a lot. Wow. For something like this, man, I have so many beautiful choices of what I can make. It's unbelievable. People are keep, you guys are keeping me busy out there. Let's see what this kind is. Baby Oli, baby Oli purse. Okay. Oh, so she's sending me. Things like little kits. And let's see here, there it is. Original, and then, yeah, baby owie purse. Yeah, I mean, yeah, my bad, baby owl purse, what am I doing? And let's just pull this out so you guys can see a picture of it. Oh, there you guys, there, you, there, there now you can see the owl picture. And I, 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 my Mercy would love this because she loves owls and she actually just made some like little owl bead necklaces and bracelets that she entered in the fair. Oh, and by the way, speaking of the fair, I entered 26 items and got 26 ribbons, but you want to know, want to know what I'm most proud of? I entered in this really extravagant evocation doily that had two colors in it and it was a beautiful vintage pineapple style and guess what it got? Exactly what I was hoping for. It won the best of show and it gets this huge purple ribbon with ruffles around it which means it's the best piece there and i was really proud of that but wow now let's see what else is in here Ooh, is this more of that cotton is this more of the cotton your guys is more of that 100 percent well, 100% linen here, and you have like harvest colors. Then you have those pinks and like more harvest colors again. All 100% linen, if you remember. Oh, let me just have one here, and it is 
Then it picks Wool of the Andes, which I already have a lot of, and this is Mink Heather, and I love this yarn. It's just so soft, 100% Peruvian Highland Wool, 110 yards. Okay, now we have something else in here. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is waterproof mattress pad. Oh wait, no, this whole sets of yarn inside of here. Oh, what's over here? See, where would I even open this? There's zipper. Oh, here's a zipper. Oh, this is beautiful yarn. Knit picks gloss flamingo. 70% merino wool and 30% silk. It's a DK, DK weight. Okay, made in Peru. Just look at this, guys. Look at this yarn. It, this is like the perfect flamingo pink and there's four of them and aren't they just so cool? I love them. Oh, wow. These are so amazing, and 30% silk is awesome. Hmm, what's this here? This is Nashua, Nashua, Natural Fibers, Creative Focus, Superwash. Wow. So Okay, so this is 100% superwash wool, 50% merino, and then 50% wool. Here it is. Is this not a beautiful tan neutral color? I'm getting lots of harvests and neutral colors. I love these. 218 yards and made in Romania. Wow. Oh, what's this? Look at these yarns. Wow, they're so thin and these are great for making like apparel. And let's see what they are. Well, they're woolies, wallies, and they're $25, 100% 20 cotton and there's 480 yards and look at those color changes it's like a slight tweed change so it goes from like that tweed green dark and then it gets a little lighter but it still tweeds as it goes throughout i actually have one other skin like this in a rainbow wow you guys should really check out this yarn once again i'll just show you guys that's what it's called one sec here we go that's what it's called if you guys want if you guys can check it out and this is the color changing cotton type oh, wow we have lots of stuff in here guys oh this is gonna be a big show lots of this red oh there's lots of this red okay there's probably more red oh wait there is more red Okay, it looks like I'll be making a big project. Look at all of this red. Let's count how many we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these. And it's Nitpick's Wool of the Andy Bulky in the color wine. 100% Peruvian Highland wool. And this, I, I don't know, but this is just telling me the words, the word holiday. Wow. This is just beautiful. It's a beautiful holiday Christmas color and I love them so much. Wow. I'm gonna be overflowing on projects to do. Ooh, let's go with these. What are these? Merino, 100% extra fine merino wool superwash. Whoa. Look at these. They are so extra fine and beautiful. Man, this is like the baby blue color of the sky and it matches the color right now. What fell off here? Tiffany necklace in gold kit. This kit includes yarn beads, clasp, floss threader for stringing beads and pattern. Oh wow, look at this. It's like a little, it's a little kit that was on the bag. Oh, you know, Oh, mom just claimed this. So anyone, anyone else in the family who thought they were getting it, mom already claimed it, just so you guys know. Wow. This is beautiful. And look at those beads in the back there. Those are like the perfect color beads. I love this. And I can tell mom does too. Ooh, so many surprises. 
eyes is. Here's more of that color changing cotton yarn. Wow, this reminds me of like a forest. Forest, like when you're on the outside and then as you go, well, you, when you're on the inside, then you, as you go out. Wow. There's so much beautiful yarn in here. Yay. What do we have here? Here we have Merino 5, 100% superwash Merino wool, 110 yards. Wow, look at these. We have 440 yards of this beautiful deep pine forest color. Wow. You know, this is something that my dad would like a watch cap with since he's bald and I have not made him his hat yet. Oh wait, actually I have 550 yards. Okay, here we go. And then we have another Hank and the color Cherry Tree Hill. And this is 52% silk. 22% merino, 18% super kid mohair, and 8% nylon. I have to open this. I just have to feel how soft this is. Oh yes, this is going to be so soft. Oh wow, this is softness all right. Oh, you can just see my hand gliding across it. This is softness. And the website is www.cherryyarn.com. Oh, wow. This is so soft. And I'm just going to read what it has again. 52% silk. That's a lot of silk. 22% merino. 18% super kid mohair. And then 8% nylon. 332 yards. That is insane. Okay, so here we have another cherry tree hill, and this is 100% merino wool, super soft solids, 420 yards, and it's a fingering weight. Look at this beautiful, like, light pink yarn. Wow. I have so much stuff to do here. I'm gonna be very busy. Let's see what yarn this is. This is Lush Angora and Wool. 50% Angora from Angora Rabbits, and the 50% Wool from Angora Rabbits. Look at this yarn. Isn't this an amazing color, color choice? And wow. Wow. This was amazing, but it's not done. Okay, so here we have a tiny crochet heart pattern, and look at how all laminated it is, and then it's so cute. And then actually, there's a tiny four-leaf clover pattern on the back in there, too. So now I can make little things using this yarn. And what's this one? Free crochet blossom scarf. Oh, so there is this. There's that hat with the flower on it. Beautiful. Beautiful kit, and there's that blossom scarf using this yarn. I just can't possibly decide what to make, but I'm gonna go with you guys right into our second package because it is actually, just verify, yep, it, it is from Sharon too, who sent us this first box full of surprises. Okay guys, here's our last and final package, also from Sharon. She sent us the last two, and okay, look, here we have on top a pattern on how to make this dog. And I love this because I have a dog, I have two dogs and they might be coming through here. And here is how to make some cupcake crochet patterns and they even have like the little wrapping and the swirls customized to your liking, also laminated. Oh, this book is for Jonah just because. We are grateful. This looks like an this looks like a Native American book. Like the Cherokee people, I guess? Let's see here. Well, there it looks like that there it's fall because there's pumpkins. Oh, so let's see here. The Cherokee people, I was right. Okay, so Cherokee people say, O Jali Helaga to express gratitude. It's a reminder to celebrate our blessings and reflect on struggles daily throughout the year and across the seasons. 
So that's it. They're in fall. They're still in fall. Oh, get it, guys? This tree. So it's like, so it's like, um, fall, winter, spring, summer. They're fall colors. They're not there. They're becoming, and they're there. Wow. And look here. So the wow. When cold breeze breezes blow and leaves fall, we say, we say. Oligo Homesty. Wow. This is a book that you can learn so much from about different cultures and specifically the Native American Cherokee people. And wow, the illustrations are amazing and it, it's like it's like painted by some painted by hand. See? As they go through the seasons and they talk about it. Now they're in winter. And now they're still in winter and it's cold. And then it's becoming spring. And that's how the rest of the book continues. And that's so meaningful to me because it's just about different cultures and how they all are the same thing, basically. Wow. We are grateful. Well, let's see what you're going to get here. Okay, so on top we have these super wash, it's 100% super wash wool from Cascades. I love this pink color. We have this big ecological wool skein, 100% undyed, undyed Peruvian wool. I haven't really had, I have not had any undyed Peruvian wool. And guess how many yards this has? 478 yards of 437 meters. This is undyed. Here we have a big, we have a loot of lots of yarn from Netweave. We have, what is this? Nitpicks Swish DK. No Nitpicks Swish DK. Oh, is all this Nitpicks Swish DK? Yeah, I've actually seen this around and it looks so cool. It's the Nitpicks Swish DK. We have marbled heather. It's 100% superwash marina wool. And wow, look at all these colors. And okay, Bella just left, but look at this. Elephant backpack. Oh, look at that. That is so cute. She's on some of these little kits, and it's adorable. Everything's included, the buttons, and how to like close it. That is so cute. And I'm going to be one busy kit. Oh, we have a package. Package. Hi, Charlie. How are you? Huh? Charlie's ahead of the camera. Yep, that's Charlie. Charlie, I'm going to be making a doll, just so you know. Okay, so here we have some cash, 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 cash merino, super chunky. Made in Italy. 55 merino wool, 33% microfiber, and 12% cashmere. When you, got, when you have cashmere in there, you know it's awesome. It's so soft and Charlie agrees with me. It's so beautiful. And it's that vintage cream that you can never have enough of. Oh, and by the way, I can see Charlie agrees with me that it's hot here. Charlie, I'm, I'm with you. Hmm. Okay, so here we have some more of that Merino Chunky in this like cherry bomb color. And look, some, 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 some syrup. Let's see here, it's how to make this little crochet mushroom pouch. Oh, look at that, it's a little crochet mushroom pouch using our red and then our vintage cream. I think of this as more of like a deep cherry bomb color, but ooh, wow. Ooh, this one looks cool, let's open this one. Simply Cotton Sport in the color marshmallow. Oh, okay. Oh, they're flying out. And then PB the polar bear. Okay. Oh, this seems like the perfect color to make the polar bear. This you crochet the body with, and then this is the fur. But I have no idea because I can't see it. But we'll have to see. Let's see here. Let's open this up. Oh, yes. Yes. Well, I was right. You just, you just do the body, and then you cover it in that 
fur color. Oh, wow. Let's see what the makeup of this yarn is. Well, this is 100% organic cotton. I love it. And then this yarn is 20, 75% super kid mohair, 25% silk. It's a lace color. I mean, it's not a lace color, it's a lace weight. Okay, wait, I gotta find a strand of this. It's like impossible, it's so thin. Okay, this is ridiculously thin. This is amazing. Look at that. Can you guys see how thin that is? Back up and I'll just show you. Like, it's not, you can't even see it. It looks thicker on camera, but it's like invisible. Wow. I'll be making some polar bears in my near future. I love this cotton. Mima, I could have made your sun hat with that. If only, if only, but I can just make a new one. That's even better. Oh, this feels like a really super soft yarn. I wonder what it is. It's the gloss again, the DK weight, 70% merino wool, 30% silk. More cashmere. Then we have two more super washes in these, in this like flamingo millennial pink. Gloss in the color cranberry and then wallaby. And okay, I'm gonna set this box aside, sorry Charlie. And just plop myself right down in here. Grab my hooks. Just plop myself right down in here, full of my yarn. And, and then finish up today's video with my book here. All of my lovely yarn and my Excuse me, oh, it's stuck. I think, I think this hook wants to crochet already when I don't even have it on the yarn yet. So we have our, let's recap on what I got today. We have our beautiful three bull tech hooks. We have our yarn from Sharon. And then we, we, have, we have our scarf book from, let's see, scarf book from Sue in New York, the Vogue Knitting. We have this book, all of this lovely yarn, all the kits, and then once again, Boltex beautiful hooks. I just can't get over these. But thank you so much for watching today's video. And I want to thank everybody who sent me things today and in previous videos. And thank you so much. And on behalf of and, and on behalf of Jonah Larson and Charlie Larson. Charlie, do you want to say anything to the camera? Cha cha. You want to say anything? Okay. Guess he, guess he doesn't want to say anything to the camera. Oh, there you go, Charlie. Yeah, see? Okay, but now it's time for my sign-off. Sign off. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And crochet away, friends.